Welcome everyone. Oh, this is the University of Nicosia's course on digital currency. I'm George Yaglis and today's session is going to be on the convergence of uh, blockchain with other exponential technologies. So before we start, let's remind ourselves where we are in the, in the course. Uh, we are in the penultimate session. We are here. Um, as a matter of fact, this is the last theoretical session of the course because the next one uh, is going to be a practical lab on interacting with decentralized applications. So to today we're going to wrap up the theoretical uh, content of the course by providing more details on the types of applications that we can expect in the future uh, when blockchain, crypto, smart contracts and distributed ledger technologies, the stuff that we have been discussing in this course, starts converging with other exponential technologies, uh, namely uh, the Internet of Things and Artificial Intelligence. So we will start with a discussion on the process of digital transformation to place everything on the historical uh, context. Then we're going to uh, go a little bit deeper on the two technologies that uh, we're interested in uh, here. One is the Internet of Things and we're going to see how this might combine uh, with blockchain to create what we call decentralized uh, physical uh, infrastructure networks and uh, we're going to discuss the intersection of uh, crypto with AI as well and we're going to use this as a basis for concluding with a number of uh, application scenarios on what types, how our world might look like when blockchain, AI and IoT start combining with each other. So, uh, the first thing I don't think I need to spend too much time here is uh, that uh, software is eating the world, as you know. Uh, all companies today are, are technology companies. I've got an example here of uh, Goldman Sachs. If you look at their uh, open job listings and at the types of patents that they are making, they tend to be more and more uh, technologically oriented, even though uh, on the surface you would consider them a financial services company. And this is true across the, the spectrum of, uh, of our economy. And the result is that the basis of competition has been shifting uh, more and more towards technology companies. Uh, this slide tries to, to uh, show the example of, uh, of Hertz, a car rental company, and how their competitors might have changed over the past few years from, from other car rental companies to them plus technology companies that are operating in a space that uh, is not providing car rental services uh, uh, as such, but uh, they're providing complementary services facilitated by technology. And this has resulted in a huge shift uh, of competition, as you can see in the table, by comparing the historical progress of the market capitalization of Hertz from 2014 until they filed for bankruptcy protection in the United States, uh, and Uber uh, starting from, uh, from, from a smaller company and now uh, growing uh, to, to, to a much uh, larger one. So, this process of digital transformation and this process of uh, uh, information and communication technologies dominating uh, economic activity is, I think, leading to a, to a historical moment. Uh, people have been using the term fourth industrial revolution, or as we will see later on, I think it might be a fourth human revolution. And they have started speculating on the event of the singularity. So we, we are starting to see realistically the prospect of uh, machines becoming collectively more intelligent than humans. And the types of consequences that uh, such, such uh, a, a, uh, an occurrence might have in our world are very difficult, if, if not impossible, to, to predict. In the context of our course and what we are discussing here, we see two major trends. One is towards decentralized technologies. We discussed this uh, earlier in the course. And the second one that we're going to be discussing today is machine intelligence. I think the combination of these two things is going to lead to uh, the creation of a new uh, type of internet or, or an additional layer to the internet as we know it, where bits and bytes are going to represent not only information traveling across the world, but actual monetary value uh, that is going to be 
uh, uh, traveling across the internet on a disintermediated basis, uh, so without uh, intermediaries and without uh, borders or, or other, other hurdles. This, coupled with machine intelligence, I think is going to unleash an era of machine-to-machine -machine and human-to-machine commerce. So uh, AI augmented uh, economic agents are going to uh, start participating as independent actors in the economy, and this will create wholly new forms of corporations. We can uh, start imagining corporations that exist only in computer code. We discussed earlier in the course uh, the example of uh, decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs, for example, uh, that operate autonomously without the need of any active human participation uh, once they, they are deployed as uh, smart contracts on a public blockchain. And obviously all these things will have profound implications for the future of our economies and societies. This is the, the idea of the fourth industrial revolution. Many people are predicting, are, are seeing this as the next logical step in a process that uh, started in the 1700s when we managed to, to uh, harness the power of water and steam to mechanize production uh, and moved across uh, stages to, to what we see today, which is a fusion of technologies essentially that blur the lines between physical world, the digital world, and increasingly even the biological world, our, our human uh, bodies and life forms. Maybe, though, the whole thing that I presented in the, in the previous slide was a big uh, revolution at a, at a much larger scale. Uh, those of you familiar with uh, Harari-style um, uh, uh, explanations of how our world has progressed since the dawn of humanity, you will be familiar with, uh, with uh, the picture that I'm trying to, to paint here. And maybe we are reaching uh, the point where we're going to see a huge revolution in the human history, where connected intelligence will bring together humans and machines in, in a way that uh, maybe the machines are going to be much more intelligent than us, and this will be a historical first since it's going to be the first time in history that uh, humans are not going to be the most intelligent uh, species in the planet and some non-biological uh, form of life uh, might take up that role and nobody knows what's going to happen after that. Uh, the reason that this is very important is that once uh, machines fueled by artificial intelligence uh, reach a certain point of, uh, of intelligence, runaway technological growth ensues and uh, this is because this intelligence is self-improving so if imagine uh, a theoretical scenario in which we create a machine that is as intelligent as, uh, uh, as, as humans then obviously this machine will be able to think of and creatively produce other machines that are more intelligent than, than it and this will unleash a process of, you know, up upgradable uh, intelligent uh, agents much faster than uh, human uh, evolution can, can follow. And eventually this will lead to, to a situation which machines will surpass uh, human intelligence and this is what uh, we call the singularity. Now in terms of uh, the consequences of this event, some people uh, believe that this will unleash an era of uh, you know utopian scenarios for humanity others are more pessimistic um, i think uh, my the battery of my headphones is dying out so i will stop here and uh, continue uh, with uh, the uh, with part two uh, in a few minutes give me give me some time thanks <laughs>